ほうほうほう Hey everybody, welcome to the 12 days of Cassio. Let's open day 11. It's a vintage Casio TRW 30 yacht timer. Let's check it out. That fing blue toaster's missing again. Yeah, Watchbot is at home again doing more research. What a fing loser. You should fire him. Well, it seems we have a problem then, Mr. Snowman. According to the feedback I've been getting lately, our audience doesn't like you. So if anyone is getting fired, it won't be Watchbot. It would be a shame to. Before you finish that fing sentence, tough guy, let me tell you about shame. It would be a shame if your little studio here burned to the fing ground. Also, be a shame if someone broke into your fing house tonight and stabbed you in the eye with a rusty fork, then shoved an icicle into your fing eye socket. So, you gonna finish your sentence, tough guy? Uh, I was just gonna say it would be a shame to. Uh, ever lose such a valuable member of our team as you. Yeah, that's what I fing thought. Please don't kill me. Alright, scram kid, you're bothering me. At any rate, here's the Casio yacht timer. This was another roulette purchase for me. Listed as untested on eBay, I bought it for around 30 bucks and shoved a battery in it. Works great. This is a great looking vintage watch with not a visible scratch anywhere on the dial or bezel. Not sure if the rubber strap is original, but it's close enough, I think. Seems that this watch was made in Japan, at least according to the case back. It has a yacht timer feature. Hey, I know. Let's time the next yacht I'll be buying with all the YouTube money that I'm making. So let's see, I press this button here, and it's doing a countdown. No, how about this button? No, that's not it. Uh, you know what? Just, just screw it. Hey, Watchbot, can I get the specs for this watch? Oh, it's you again. Yeah, I'm fing taking over, what'd I tell you? Do you want the specs or on the thing behind me, you fing ape? Okay, whatever you say, you're the boss, I guess. Yeah, don't fing forget it either. Here's the wrist shot. The watch fits my wrist great. It's 40 millimeters, but it wears a bit smaller to me. Here's the loom shot. Well, this is the first Casio I've seen that doesn't have any. It's not that it's broken or something, it just oddly doesn't seem to have that feature. So, yeah, it's a great little vintage watch and one of my best watch roulette pickups. Well, that's all I have for today. The last Cassio review is tomorrow, so check it out. Thanks for watching.